Hi, I'm Jenna Watson and I lead our digital media practice here at DAC. My name is uh, Samuel, I'm working at DAC and I work as a digital uh, media specialist. My name is Melis, my last name is Chiner, and I am Director of Digital Media here at DAC. I'm Christopher Jugal, uh, I'm a digital, Senior Digital Media Specialist at DAC and primarily work on the Bridgestone account. My entire career I've worked at agencies, so I can say that here at DAC it actually is different. And I'll tell you why it's different. I think there's a couple of different reasons for that. We hire really smart people. We're not the same. I don't want anybody to think we're a bunch of cookie cutouts of one another, but we all kind of think the same and the things that matter to us is the same. So we can get into a healthy debate with one another, but at the end of the day, we are here to be really great at what we do, drive our clients' business forward, and then laugh and enjoy each other. We all kind of awkwardly have the same goofy sense of humor, which works really well. The culture is based on ownership. Uh, I have, for example, full ownership on the tasks that are assigned uh, to me, meaning that uh, I have full responsibility, of course, uh, but for me, this is a sign of trust uh, between uh, my managers uh, and myself, and I think that's uh, how we can achieve uh, the best outcome. So when I think about the culture at DAC, it really comes down to the people. And that's one of the benefits at DAC actually, because there's different offices all around the world. And once you actually get to speak to some of these people, you learn so many different things that come from different walks of life. So this is one of the meetings that I have with any new recruit coming in is I will talk to them about um, our performance contract system and also talk to them about our uh, leveling. Um, the leveling document essentially specifies at each title, what will your responsibilities be and what are expectations of you. Um, and it'll, it'll distinguish what a coordinator is responsible for versus a specialist, versus a senior specialist, versus a manager, and how that upward progression occurs, um, as in what is added on at each level. Then after that, um, we'll, we will go through a performance contract template together and the new recruit will put together a performance contract that we will then review together, kind of set goals for the next three months. Um, and we review that regularly and uh, essentially try to get people to grow. I've been at DAC for a year uh, right now. And for um, career progress is defined um, by me, uh, but with my managers, we define how uh, DEC can be successful and how uh, its clients as well can be uh, successful and what do I need from DEC to achieve all that. Like they help me, guide me, push me, they, they taught me things that brought in my mind uh, and made me think outside the box uh, in terms of that but, but career progression, it, as long as you have a, a good work ethic, uh, you're curious about learning about different sorts of media, you're, you're, uh, there's a long runway for you. Yeah, career progression, um, that's another thing where I have other experience that I can speak to. At other places, you have one, maybe two chances to get promoted during a year because they have cycles, right? So if it's not review time, then you're not getting promoted. DAC doesn't do that here. We promote based on merit. When people are ready, they will get promoted. So let's say, for example, we've got somebody on the team that came in with a little bit of experience, but they were still at the level that they had been before. But if they come in, they rock their work, they're awesome teammates. In six months, if they're ready for promotion, they'll get promoted. So we are very much a kind of work hard, work smart, get promoted type of agency. And I think that's really different in the digital media landscape. 